Hello everybody and welcome to today's vlog. I have less than a week at home until I leave for Asia. I'm gonna challenge myself and see if I can get this video out before I leave for Asia, which is, I think, Friday, June 14th. So if this video does get out before then, please, please, please comment down below some recommendations for Hong Kong, Seoul, and Tokyo. I'm going to all three of those places in Asia and I'm so excited. Any sort of recommendations that you have, whether that be travel tips, places to go, places to eat, things to see, I wanna hear it all. Today we're gonna be starting this vlog off with an unboxing because that's just all I seem to do these days. I. I buy things. I show you guys what I bought. I use them. I buy more things. It's the first thing that I got. So speaking of Asia, I thought these would be kind of cute. I am going to be packing like pretty light for Asia because I want to be able to bring a lot of things back. So we're going to be dressing for comfort and simplicity on this trip. But I did get these bows. Oh my gosh, they're kind of big. They're just these like silk bows. I got them on Amazon. They're linked in my Amazon storefront if you want to go see them. They're cute. I feel like they could be very cute. I got it in white and black. Oh wait, it's kind of cute. Also this package, I actually have no scissors, so we're just gonna have to like manhandle this box. So we got three things in this package. I got some stuff to make a body scrub. I am like obsessed with Tree Hut body scrubs, but it was getting awfully expensive for me to be paying like over $10 per jar of it. I thought it would be a lot smarter for me to just like make it myself. All this stuff that I got costs like $20, I think, and I'm gonna be able to make mini tubs of body scrub out of it. This will also all be linked on my Amazon storefront, which is linked in my description box. This isn't meant to be like a self promo, but it's like, if y'all wanna know, it's where you can find it. This is the recipe that I'm gonna be following. I feel like this can't be that hard. It's like three ingredients. Got all my things, I got a bowl. I'm gonna be using an old tree hut scrub container to store this scrub. Ooh, it smells good. I mean, it's sugar, but. Mm. The stuff is like really granular or gritty. That's the word I'm looking for. So really gets in there. That's what I love about a scrub. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna break my teeth. Ah. Three scoops of coconut oil, or no, three tablespoons, but I'm gonna be just like measuring with my heart. Okay, this is definitely more than three tablespoons, but whatever. This is edible, right? Oh, tastes exactly how I would have expected it to taste. We also have some laven lavender essential oil. Guys, I might be getting... No, I'm not. <laughs> I was gonna say I might be getting back into my ASMR phase, but it's just like not happening. Well, I don't know if I love this smell. Okay, yeah, we're only gonna be doing a few of these. Okay, I'm seeing the vision. Okay, that was actually so easy. I'm gonna like wash my hands with some of it to test it out. It's really gonna exfoliate. It's really nice, but like this is a one time a week scrub. You will like scrub your skin raw with this if you're using this multiple times a week. Yay. That was like really easy. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. Good morning. I look terrible. We're not gonna talk about it. It's 6.39. I cannot remember the last time that I woke up before eight. This morning I have an eye doctor's appointment that I'm actually supposed to leave for in like a minute. Oh my gosh, I literally look so bad. <laughs> my allergies are really kicking. I have to go soon. Sorry, I'm like malfunctioning right now. I don't know why I stood up. I still need to put sunscreen on my face. I don't function well this early in the morning. Okay, also this is so difficult putting sunscreen on with no glasses. I actually went to this exact eye doctor appointment less than a week ago and I missed it because my mom and I ran into so much traffic. Okay, yeah, I still bring my mother to my doctor's appointments because I don't like driving but we left like with what we thought was plenty of time and then we had so much traffic that we actually missed the appointment so we're leaving extra early today i am really excited to get new contacts because i think seeing is super underrated we are so early to my appointment <laughs> do you mind we have gotten drinks from three separate places <laughs> I got a smoothie from Pressed. This is their strawberry banana smoothie. I got whey protein put in it. So nasty. That's so nasty. All right, so can't. Oh my God, there's a week can't of live in here. I like that restaurant. Well, yeah. it's good. So you guys can stop being rude. Oh my gosh, the whey protein almost makes it better. It's like creamier. Mmm. What are we doing? Bro, today? somebody doesn't have their seatbelt on. That's me. Yeah. Look, guys, it's a pressed car. I might take a nap today because I had to get up so Mom, early. You always take a nap. <laughs> this is my coffee. Um, it looks like a lot of caramel, yeah. but it's not. No, she got a caramel macchiato with like double, triple, quadruple caramel in oh, it. God. 
<laughs> Mom, pipe down with your gross coffee. I know. <laughs> One sugar with milk. <laughs> it's so ass. I broke my straw. Is it good? That was straight caramel. <laughs> Pretty bust. I need to mix the caramel though. See, we all hate each other's drinks. I look like Casper the ghost. <laughs> Just got out of my eye doctor's appointment. Got my prescription renewed. It changed from negative 2.75 to negative 3.75, which was precisely my prediction. Okay. Hey. Okay. That's pretty much it. I got my eyes dilated. The Whatever, I don't even care. I did a little bit of work for my internship and now I'm clocking myself out. I hope the guy I work for doesn't see this. I mean, I am working hard. Like, I put some good time in, some good work in, but I'm taking a little bit of a lunch break right now. Okay. Kay and I are running some errands. I need to return the oil that I got yesterday because I just don't like the way it smells. And I need to get a face moisturizer because I'm trying this new acne face wash and skin stuff, and it's literally drying my skin out like a mofo. My skin is so dry. We made it to Ulta. You're gonna spend like $100. No, I'm not. Hey, squad. Julia's just um, returning something for from Kohl's, and I'm just sitting in the car. Okay, bye. Come on, Danny, let's go. It's almost 3 p.m. and I think I'm gonna go on a bike ride to clear my head. I haven't done that in a really long time and I think it could be good for me. I don't know why, I've just been like so in my head recently. I just like can't seem to escape. I'm feeling really tired and drained from it and I just like don't know why it's like this. I objectively have nothing to be anxious about or stressed about. Everything in my life is going great right now. Like literally nothing is going wrong except for my headspace. My headspace is like a mess and I'm not sure why. I also have this feeling that like there's no excuse for my headspace to like not be good because for one I have everything I could have ever wanted and more going on for me and two I have like all the time in the world to set that straight but for some reason I'm having like no motivation to do anything I just am perceiving myself in a really negative light and I just am trying to like fix that but I know that my vlogs a lot of the time are just like me on my productive grind and I am like that a lot of the times but I don't know recently I've just been feeling like I am on the cusp of like tipping into the deep end and I'm trying to like reel it back in a little bit. I know that this is not a unique experience. I know that a lot of people go through these feelings so that's kind of why I wanted to just like come on here and talk about it a little bit and let you guys know that it's okay to not be okay all the time. I know that's so generic to say but seriously even someone like myself that like functions off of being productive and just doing things back to back to back to back. I still have bad days too. I still have bad weeks too. Like it happens and it's gonna be okay. I know this feeling isn't forever. It's just annoying because I don't know when the end date for it is. I also like forgot to plug in my Apple Watch so it's like not charged for me to go on my bike ride and like in retrospect I don't need it but I, I like to just see like how far I biked and I like to get all like the stats at the end of it but for some reason when I realized my Apple Watch wasn't charging I almost started crying. Why? I don't know. I'm just in a weird place mentally. I'm excited. I haven't biked since I've been home. I used to bike a lot during COVID and I biked a little bit last summer, but I had like a gym membership last summer. So I was just going to the gym and like lifting weights and then going to gymnastics and doing gymnastics. And that was my way of like staying in shape. I don't, I definitely have not told you guys about this. This is just another like me just being real and like keeping y'all in the loop with my life. I've had a bunch of different sicknesses and sinus infections and respiratory infections from the school year just for some reason I get so sick at college I think it like finally caught up to me because I've been having this problem with my head where like I'm losing my air awareness and like my sense of balance when I'm doing gymnastics I have an appointment scheduled with the ENT for July 1st so once I get back from Asia I'm gonna be able to go in and they're gonna like figure out what's wrong that's kind of just put like a little bit of a halt in my whole like gymnastics progression this summer I don't think that's helping my mental state but yeah, that's just a really long-winded like rant and update about my life. <sighs> it's just kind of been frustrating, but it's all good. Damn it. I'm literally fine. I'm fine. Am I? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. This is so <laughs> vulnerable, but then again, it's real. And if it helps at least one person feel like they're not the only one going through stuff, then it's worth it. This is my mom's bike from like years ago. Honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna listen to anything. Normally I listen to like a podcast or something, but I think I just need to be in silence. It's the bike. See you guys when I get back. Okay, 
So I just got out of the shower. I like need to moisturize my face this second. I can like already feel my face drying up and like, oh my gosh, it feels like stiff. This is the moisturizer that I got today. It's the La Roche-Posay one. I, I think it's like really popular. I see it everywhere. Mm. It feels so nice. It's like instant relief. Okay, I'm feeling better now. Something that I did want to touch on really quickly is just like my recent experiences with acne. So all my life, I would consider myself a really lucky person when it came to acne. I had very minimal breakouts. I'd have like maybe one or two like bad pimples per month. I just seemed to always have really clear skin and I think I took it for granted. Not saying that my skin is bad now. I understand that acne and everyone's experience with it is extremely personal. This is just my experience. So up until recently, I'd say the past couple months, my skin has been completely fine. Skincare was always something fun to make me feel like I was like pampering myself and taking care of myself. I'm gonna be so honest, it was never a super preventative measure that I had to take. Like I wasn't doing skincare to prevent myself from getting acne or trying to get rid of acne. It was more just, oh, I really like the way these products make me feel. It makes me feel good doing this for myself, so let me do it. I still really enjoy skincare, but it has definitely had a completely different meaning for me recently. Just because I started to get all of these breakouts. It started on my forehead. I can like insert some pictures here. Sorry, they're not the cutest, but it's I'm just being real. I started developing all sorts of texture on my forehead and I really, really, really got insecure about it. It was just out of nowhere and I literally tried everything under the sun to try to get rid of it. And to this day, I still don't fully know what did get rid of it. It's just starting to like slowly go away and I, I just, I don't know. That started happening and then I just started having like, my skin just started like freaking out. I just feel like my skin was getting more acne prone. For example, like right here, I had a few pimples recently and I've been trying to like tackle those. I'm really trying to do a better job about not picking my acne because I have a really bad habit about doing that and it just prolongs the healing process by so much. You can kind of see it in the back but it's literally wet because I just used this in the shower and I've been using this for about the past week. Murad sent me a bunch of different products to try out and share with you guys and I just wanted to give you like my honest opinion. They sent me this cleanser. This is from their acne control line. They sent me this stuff. I really like this cleanser it seems to just get everything out of my skin but I will say it is a little bit stripping so you're gonna want to have a really good moisturizer to follow it up this has seemed to help with like the texture on my skin and just like clearing my skin up they also sent me these two products which are an absolute godsend this is their deep relief acne treatment it's kind of like this thick substance you basically when you feel like a pimple is coming in you just put it on it and it kind of like either brings it to the surface or completely gets rid of it these two I could like feel they were like underneath the skin they just were painful and so I put a little bit of this stuff on for like one or two days and then all the gunk came to the surface and then I was able to go in with this stuff which is their rapid relief acne spot treatment and that really helped with like reducing redness and just like getting all the gunk out and then they also sent me this sunscreen it's not super hydrating but it does dry matte like it says which is really nice you're not gonna look oily after it's just you need to be wearing SPF on your skin it is so 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 important that's basically my whole spiel when my skin started flaring up I found myself in a place where like like every time I opened up my camera and like looked at my face, whether that be like on Snapchat, filming a vlog, or even like walked by a mirror and like inevitably looked in it because that's like a very human reaction when you see a mirror. I don't know. I just felt this like feeling of like disgust and like I was gross and I don't know. It just didn't make me feel good about myself. And that's really sad to say, but it just did a deal on the way I perceived myself. And I think that's also like a small part of the bigger pie of why I'm in like a little bit of a rut right now. But about that, I went on my bike ride. It was like about an hour long I want to say and I biked 10 miles so felt really really good nothing crazy like I know it sounds like a lot but biking you can fly on a bike it's really nice just outdoor bike got some fresh air I did in fact see a completely flattened chipmunk and it made me very upset um but it's okay. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I had to say. I'm not saying this to throw a pity party for myself. I more so just wanted to say it because once again, I know that this is not a unique experience and lots of people struggle with this. And I was lucky enough to not have to like really encounter it until recently. So I just want you to know you're not alone. Really quickly before I close off this vlog, I got a package, which I'm gonna open with you guys. Like I said, this is just all I do. Order things and open them. I'm super excited about this package and I'm so glad that it came before. I'm going on vacation. This package is from Kulani Bikinis. I just got some fun things. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The first bikini top I got is, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm so glad I got this. It just looks like this. This is the pattern. It has this little shell dangly and then it just like ties in the back. Oh my gosh, and there's also the little detailing on these. So excited about that. Okay, my sister actually also got the same exact top, so we're gonna be twinning. I also got the bottoms. 
These are the bottoms. It's just the same exact pattern as before. Super cute. These are the second ones I got. Okay, these are very like cheeky bottoms. I don't even know what the front is. That's how bad this is. I got these bottoms. Dad, if you're watching this, please click off. Or grandpa. Disregard that. And then I got this matching top. Ooh, so cute. This top will just sit like this. And then it just has this little pattern on it. I can link all the pieces that I got down below and also a little coupon code. I think you guys can get like 10% off with it. I'm really excited to wear those. I think we might go to the beach like one day in Hong Kong. And I might sound so ignorant for this, but I did not even know there were beaches there. I mean like obviously, cause it's like an island, but I just didn't know that that was like the vibe. I'm leaving for my trip Friday. So please, please, please comment down below some suggestions recommendations, anything you can think of for Hong Kong, Seoul, and Tokyo. I'm so excited to be going to Asia this summer. I'm very grateful for y'all. Thank you for being my outlet, just kind of keeping me grounded when things get a little bit crazy. I really appreciate you guys, and please take care of yourselves. Mental health is very, very, very important, and I just want to make sure that y'all are doing the right things to take care of yourselves. I love you guys so, so, so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to keep up to date with all of my socials. They'll be linked right here and also in the description box. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.